Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So today we're gonna do a fun little craft. It's super easy, minimal supplies. We are going to be making gift card holders. These don't have to just be for Christmas, but of course, since we have the upcoming holiday, that's what I'm making mine for. You can do this for a baby shower, graduation, birthday, uh, Valentine's Day, anniversary, just because, <laughs> you know, whatever you want to do, any holiday, any occasion, you can do this. Just depends on your paper for how you decorate it. So I have three here and I did them three different ways. So with this, this is the front. I have the little to and from sticker here. These are just ones I just bought at Dollar Tree. Um, when you turn it around, you open it up with the little Velcro dot. These as well came from Dollar Tree. And you open it up and you have a double spot for, what happened to my, oh, here it is. I have a gift card here. For two gift cards, one here and one here. And then it just folds up and stays closed. Um, the next one I did is this one and this now you can see here this is not double-sided cardstock it doesn't bother me because honestly i kind of feel like it makes the gift card pop anyways but if you want um, color on the other side you can do it one of two ways you can use double-sided cardstock or you can do like i did here and i glued two pieces of paper together this is not my favorite i feel like it makes it a little too thick not too thick that it doesn't work or it's uncomfortable. I just prefer it like this better. Um, this one, I did the two from sticker on the inside and then I just cut a slice here and just glued it along this edge for the gift card to slide right in. You write two from and close it. You can then tuck this in a little bag. Um, you don't have to put a two from here. You can make this like a note or something of that nature. Um, so yeah, I have that. I mean, you can decorate these and style these so many different ways. And then this was my prototype and I decided to see what it would look like if I just put some scrapbook paper here in the square, uh, to see if I would want to line the insides. Now this one just has a little square or rectangle right here, slides right in and bada bing, bada boom. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this one, this style again. This is great if you want, you know, you can even put a little note up here or a little bit of cash and a gift card, you know, whatever you want to do there. I do really like this style, um, but I think for the people that I'd be buying for mostly, I would only need one gift card slot. So let's make one of those. Let's set these aside for now. And I'm gonna get out my cutting mat, my scoring board, my bone folder. I have, what else do I need? Oh, here are the um, little Velcro pieces that I used for this. So I have that. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna start with this cute paper. What you need to do is cut a piece of paper that is nine inches long by three and a quarter wide. Now, my gift cards fit very snugly. I like it like that. If you want a little bit more wiggle room, you can make it four inches wide. I'm doing mine three and three quarters. So now that I have my paper, I'm gonna have the front side facing up. So now this is 3.75 or four, if that's what you want, by nine inches. I'm going to score it at two and a half inches, five inches, and seven and a half inches. So what you're doing is just scoring it every 2.5 inches. If you don't have a scoreboard like me, you can still score your paper and I'll show you on another piece that is already pre-cut. So I'm just gonna line this up on my cutting mat and 
wherever I need to score it. So I need to score it at two and a half is what I said. So I'm going to put my ruler right here and there we go. Put my ruler down. I'm going to take my bone folder and just go like this along and you will have your score mark. It's not as deep as a scoreboard, but it at least will help you to fold it. Okay. So you don't have to have a scoreboard, but it does help immensely. All right. So now we have this all, you know, scored. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is just fold it. I fold mine right under the little bendy part there and give it a little score, or I'm sorry, <laughs> press it down with your bone folder. You guys, I am so tired. <laughs> I worked yesterday from 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. I am exhausted. Okay, so here we go. If you think YouTubers have it easy, they do not. All right, so there you go. Now I'm just kind of folding all my little folded parts. So now I already have my card holder. So the reason why I leave this two and a half is because I like to have room to cut. So if you, this is the piece that you're gonna cut that goes it's this right here. So this one, I, um, I cut it in half. So I had, you know, just a, I could, and I use the extra piece up here. You can also cut it diagonally. You can just take a big circle punch and cut a big dip right here. You can cut it however you want. I'm just going to cut an inch off of this. Actually, where's my little, I'm just going to use this. So I'm just going to take an inch off. Actually, I'll take an inch and a quarter because that makes it even if I decide to make it a double. I can save this for one of the other ones. So if you cut it, an inch and a quarter is exactly half. See, it's exactly the same. That way, if I want to use it up here, I can or on another gift card that I am making a double. Okay, so now I have that. And what I have chosen to do, you do not have to, is I'm gonna round my corners just because I feel like it gives it a more polished look. So I'm gonna do that. All right. Now I am going to, I'm gonna just set my little thing there. I'm gonna use my art glitter glue and I'm just gonna very carefully glue right on the edge here. If you made yours four inches wide, you could be a little bit more gracious with your glue, but I don't want to take away too much of my sides here, so I just do a little bit right along the edge, fold it over, press it down, and I really want it to adhere, so I use my bone folder and I just go over it and a little bit will ooze out and that's fine. It's actually kind of good. And then I take my finger and just kind of rub down the edge and that kind of seals that glue right there. And I go over it one more time. Just like that. Okay, now if I wanted to add this, you know what, I'll just do it just to show you. So I just rounded the top corners, not the bottom but I mean, you can do yours however you want. So right where this crease is, where it folds, I'm gonna go right above that. You don't wanna put it on or over that crease because then it won't fold right. So where you have this crease right here, just go right above that. And now we're gonna add glue to the sides, the bottom, and the side. And I'm gonna put this right above that little fold mark, just to give it a little room to fold. Make sure this is even, even Steven. I'm gonna do the same thing, push it down. That really helps that glue to stick all the way and spread so that it doesn't come apart later. Again, just take my fingers, go like that. And now I have well, I'll start down here. I have my card here and I have my card holder here. Okay, let's 
let's push this, make sure it's all the way down. All right, so now you have your card holder. So the front is facing the right way, the back obviously isn't. Okay, so now let me show you how to connect these together and make it so that they're even. So I just put my little card on my cutting mat and I make sure it's even on both sides. And I take this flat piece here and I'm just gonna stick it right in the middle, closer to the top, but not all the way to the edge. Now you take your second piece, sticky side up, connect that onto there, use your fingernail there, and make sure that it's on there even, and then gently close this and then push it down. Now it is stuck in the same exact spot that the top is. So you see, now they're even, it'll always close in the right spot. There you go. So that is how you make a super easy uh, gift card holder for Christmas. I absolutely love these. I think they are so cute. I mean, how fun is this? To just put, put a couple cards in, put a little cash, great for graduation. Now you can also decorate these with little die cuts or you know, maybe a word that just across here that says like Merry Christmas or something like that. So super fun. Let's make one more. Now, if you want to do this style where I did the slice across, all you have to do is instead of cutting it across like I did, just cut it diagonal. Not a big deal. Super easy. Okay, let's make another one in that same, the same thing. So we're gonna score two and a half, five, and seven and a half. So you're just going two and a half, and then two and a half, and then two and a half. But the exact measurements are two and a half, five, seven and a half. Okay. We'll take that down. And this is the part right here. So you fold this up, right? Let's give it a little creasy poo. So if this is the part that's down at the bottom, right here. So if you want it at an angle, all you have to do is just kind of open this up and cut from here to here or from here to here, however you want it. I like mine to be on the left. So you would want to cut it on this side from here to here like that. So let's try that on this one. So I'm gonna actually turn it over. I'm gonna put it on my cutting mat here. And I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna leave, here I started at the very bottom. I'm actually gonna leave a little bit at the, you'll see. So you can either go corner to corner or, no, I'll just do corner to corner. I'll make it easy. Okay, so let's, I'm not gonna go exactly to the top corner. I'm gonna go down just a hair. There we go. My ruler slid a little bit, but okay. So now when you flip it over, it goes up like that. And what I meant by not going all the way to the top, there's just a little straight line here. And this is just a little bit away from the crease line because I don't want this to interfere with when I fold it. So now I can use this piece and I can put it over here and have two gift card holders this way. So they will go like this and like this. So let's glue that. And you can ink these and all kinds of stuff. I'm, I'm not, just cause I'm doing a video, but okay. So you go just up the side and that's it on this piece. Make sure that when it's, you fold it down, it's lined up. Get my bone folder, give it a crease. There you go. Smooth it out. There you go. All right, now on this one, you need to go up the side and 
up the bottom. That didn't make sense. Across the bottom, that's what I meant. <laughs> All right, so again, here's where we fold it. I'm just gonna go right above that and glue this one down. Give this a nice crease. There we go. And if any, you know, if you get a little bit that's overhanging the edge, you can just cut that off. Like I have just, I mean, it's a minuscule thing here at the top, but I'm anal and we know this about me, so I'm gonna cut it. You probably never would have noticed, but I did. Wait, I think this is, yep. This piece is hanging over the edge just, oh, oh I just slipped and cut my paper. Oh gosh, be careful when you do this. <laughs> All right, and then I like to round the tops of my paper, so I'm gonna round that. All right, so we fold it up, give it a nice little crease, and we will fold it over, make sure it's straight. Ah, there we go. Give it a crease. All right, so now we have this double pocket to put gift cards in. So it goes like this, and it goes like this. Oops, sorry. So you have a gift card there and you have a gift card there. Closes, put the Velcro at the top. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. How cute is that? Now I don't mind the white on the inside. You guys might, I know this is upside down. So if that bothers you, you can, you know, I don't know, take another piece of paper and uh, kind of frame it out a little bit so you just don't see the edges and kind of cut the same basic size, but a little bit smaller. You can add a little sticker right here. That would kind of fix that, um, that kind of stuff. But yeah, so there is several different ways to make these. I just showed you. And like I said, these aren't decorated or anything yet. So you could add die cuts, you could stamp. Um, you could stamp all over the back of this paper to give it some kind of decoration. If you just don't like the white, you can, you know, like I said, you could glue paper onto the back. I just didn't like how that felt. It made it a little clumpy for me, but there's that style. Let's show all the different styles that we got going on here. Well, these two are the same. So there's basically, here, I'll take that one out. So here's three different styles right here of how you could do this. Super easy, super fun. And like I said, you could make these for any kind of occasion. I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And until next time, bye.